And as, you dis mm -hmm. as we discussed about the structure of the proteins, I want to get a little bit detailed mm -hmm. about the folding. And uh, Allah creates so many details in everything, but we can only understand it with the high technology recently, some of them, not all yes. of them. And uh, I want to start my words and finish my words with the same uh, sentence in here I want to say. Mm -hmm. DNA sequence mm -hmm. is the key for the structure of the protein. And DNA sequence is very important. Mm -hmm. It is something that must be always correct to have the correct order of the amino acids. So any mutation that changes the amino acid order will destroy the protein. Yes. So it means that the DNA sequence have to be always correct. So mutations are not useful, are not beneficial, they are always destroying if it is changing the amino acid sequence order. Causes illnesses yes, or cause causes many things. death. Yes, and so the one of the bases of the evolution is mutation, as they say, so it collapsed here. Yes. Now. And uh, first of all, I want to show you a picture mm -hmm. of an amin amino acid. And here now you can see it. When you look at the structure of the amino acid, you see something in the middle, the carbon atom. It's, it is called the alpha carbon. And in here you see the carboxyl group, amino group, the hydrogen, and the variant group. This is the basic structure of amino acids. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I want you to look at the... Uh, there are two bondings here. Mm -hmm. One of them uh, makes bond between the carboxyl group, group with the alpha carbon. The other with the amino group with the uh, alpha carbon. Mm -hmm. The alpha carbon is very important because it is the thing and the bonds around it, the two bonds, is the things that makes the amino acid have a flexible shape. And uh, this is the basic structure. I want to show another picture now. You can see the all amino acids here. And as you see, their basis, their backbone is similar. Mm -hmm carboxyl group, amino group, hydrogen, mm -hmm. just the variant group is changing. But it is somehow so amazing that there are, as we said, there are two bones mm -hmm. um, at the sides of the alpha mm -hmm. carbon. Yes. They can change their um, position, they can bend, they can curve according to the which amino acid is connecting with the other one. It is something amazing. Yes. Now we can understand that. At even the beginning, uh, uh, it yes. has to be in the uh, perfect shape for folding. Yes, the amino acid perfect structure already created yes. all the atoms, all the bondings, mm -hmm. all the structures, all the amino acids that they come together, as this is one of the uh, basics of the things that collapse evolution. Mm -hmm. You cannot change the order because if you change the amino acid order, then you change the bonding structures, the curving, yes. the shape, the, the, all the structure will collapse. Mm -hmm. yes. So it means that the amino acids places is very important. The bonding there are also very important. And um, I'm showing this because mm -hmm. I will explain these bondings in a minute later. They will get a very importance. They are not chemistry professors or they don't have high-tech techniques that to search the chemical structures or of the amino acids. But they can recognize each amino acid in a very perfect way, mashallah. Mashallah, it is very amazing. And now uh, I want to show you the amino acid structure again. As I said, there are two, you see the picture again. Uh, there are two bones here, the basic structure. These are the ones that make special angles that are called phi and psi. Mm -hmm. And the uh, phi bond is the one between the amino group and the alpha carbon. And the other one, psi, is the uh, angle that occurs between the alpha carbon and the carboxyl group's carbon. And uh, these bonds are so important, as I said, because they keep the alpha carbon like moving and dancing in the middle of the amino acid. It is free, it is flexible, it can move, it can do different shapes. And uh, But as everyone knows, a very famous bond called yes. peptide bond yes. that binds amino acids together, it is not flexible. It is rigid. Mm -hmm. It is a flat bond, like nine, uh, 180 degrees, and it does give the shape of the beads of the first structure of the uh, peptide, polypeptide, that because of this bonding, and it can occur only in the ribosome, as you know. And only peptide bond is the bond that can connect two amino acids together. Yes. And when this uh, connection occurs, I want to show uh, another picture now here. And this is the bonding here, you see the peptide unit. And when this bonding occurs, these two other bonds 
as the occurred in the structure of the amino acid, phi and psi angles occur at that moment. Uh, as you see two amino acids attaching and two angles, they are called at this moment these true three shapes in here phi, psi, and uh, you can see the peptide bond here. They are all together called the hydral angles. They occur a very specific structure. And uh, it is so amazing that these bonds are electromagnetic force that Allah has created mm -hmm. between the uh, atoms. Bonds are just energy. They are not solid, but uh, cause and attraction between these atoms that forms a very complex molecules, mashallah. Yes, and uh, some uh, bond types are weak, like hydrogen bonds, bonds and some of them are uh, strong, uh, like peptide bond. Uh, and every molecule exactly uh, necessary bonds occur at the necessary pro, uh, position, position and place. Yes, yes and as you say, the peptide bond is an absolute pillar for uh, the protein structure. If uh, another bonding occurs instead of pet peptide bond, there will not be a protein. Yes, and exactly true. And each information that you have said are the ones that destroy the evolution theory. Yes. And uh, it proves the creation because, as we said, the position of the bonds, mm -hmm. the bonds, they are not solid. They are just energy. And also it uh, happens between the electrons and everything. And when we look at it, they have a shape. They have a consciousness, they have a decision, it seems like. Of course, these decisions, this consciousness, this wisdom belongs to Allah, yes, only Allah, Allah, inshallah. And um, let's get to the point now. Uh, let's go to another picture I will show you here. And now you see the phi and psi here. Mm -hmm. And these are the torsion angles. Mm -hmm. And phi, psi, and they call it omega, but the peptide mm -hmm. bond actually. They are three together. When they, the three of them come together, it is called the hydral angle. Mm -hmm. And this dihydral angle is the angle that can have only three specific uh, angles that can have. Mm -hmm. Only three specific angles can occur to have a stable protein formation. But according to evolutionists, somehow these yes. bonding come together perfectly uh, by uh, the uh, uh, evolution. How can it? It is impossible. Yes. And also Cyrus Leventil, as we yes. have discussed, yes. he couldn't understand it. Yes. And when he recognized it, when he discovered this, he got confused. Because yes. he said that these are the bonds. These are something that can bend, that can curve. As we said, peptide bond does not curve. It is flat. Mm -hmm. But the other two can curve and make the carbon, yes. alpha carbon, move from one place to another, like a flexible thing. And this gives the opportunity for the polypeptide to curve, to get the secondary structure, to tertiary structure. Yes. If they don't have this ability, they cannot have this structure. But there can be, there should be, he says, thousands of different angles. But when we look at it, only three. So how could something like a bond can know, can understand the correct angle? Yes. It is impossible. And bond, we are saying, is just the uh, uh, atoms that come together. Yes. yes. Consciousness. Yes. 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 And as you said, Sister Dilam, some of the proteins can bend and uh, come to the final structure in milliseconds. Yes. Or even in uh, microseconds. Microseconds, yes. It is very short time. But how could a protein or an enzyme comes and folds the protein? How could the enzymes know it? Yes. How could the system understand it? All the atoms are wise. All the proteins are wise. All the bonds, which are just energy, are wise. They have consciousness, seems like. Mm -hmm. They act like they know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And they are doing it in a, a timing that we can never even uh, understand yes. or yes. observe. We can yes. never see it. But they are acting all the time because we are alive. And yes. the uh, important thing here is uh, the uh, this complex process that you are talking about. The uh, you said the enzymes are doing this, and these enzymes are also produced by this way. Yes. Yes. Also, they are produced. And uh, you uh, said many questions about how they do this, how they form, mm -hmm. uh, how they know where to go with which one to uh, bond. But uh, here, the most important question is how evolutionists can claim that this <laughs> came about uh, by, by chance. chance. It yes. is impossible yes, because, yes, everybody step who look at this structure, this amazing structure, will see uh, the beautiful, the perfect creation of Allah. Yes. It is impossible for uh, such uh, consciousness uh, and, uh, as you said, non-living uh, beings uh, to do all these things. 
Yes, it is, it is funny actually that they can uh, accept that they are all occur from the coincidences or from b blind chance, but they cannot understand how amazing, although they see it, they, can, they cannot recognize it. Yes, it yes. doesn't get to, through their heart, actually, just through their eyes, but not to the brain, maybe. And uh, so I want to come to the final words. I want to finish with the words that I started. Yes, in the, the beginning. Yes, mm -hmm. in the beginning. The DNA sequence is very important mm -hmm. because the DNA sequence is the one that gives the information which amino acids should come to the other one, the order of the amino acids. So when they, the, if you destroy this information, it means that you will destroy the protein. Yes. So mutations, as they uh, say, the evolutionists say, cannot have, never have a beneficial way to improve the protein structure. Yes. The protein is already perfect. Yes. They, you cannot improve it with mutation. Yes. You can only destroy it. So this information uh, let us uh, refute uh, evolution deception scientifically yes. and intellectually. Yes. So here I want to just say something else. We are just destroying evolution here with science, yes. with intellect, with knowledge, with wisdom and with proof. These are proof. These are yes, real. Proof. Yes, science. scientific yes, reality. Science and science always refutes Darwinism and evolution. Yes, Marshall. Yes. Marshall. <laughs> and I want to mention something. You said that there has to be perfect DNA because it uh, determines the sequence. And this DNA is also produced by these proteins. Yes, because they and are replicated, yes, they make yes. it. Yes. That these proteins uh, produce uh, DNA and uh, by DNA, these proteins are produced. Yes. So they cannot come into being gradually again. We came to the uh, creation again. Yes. They yes. cannot, uh, it is impossible, scientifically impossible. We see that when we observe that, when we make experiments, we see that it is impossible. This is the yes. creation of our love because they have to be together at the same place at the same time in a perfect cell. Yes. And Marshall. they should know each other. Yes. They should recognize yes. each other and they should work in a harmony yes. all yes. together.